This video is a follow-up to a previous video I uploaded. Please watch it first. You can find the link in the description and on the top left corner. Let's look at the other model we spoke about in the previous video, Flux1 Dev. As said, we need to use custom performance settings for Flux to generate a proper result. The steps will be between 20 to 30. CGF. I prefer to keep around 3. The sampler will be Euler and the scheduler will be simple. The rest is up to your preference, like style. Clip skip won't work if it's above one. I had selected the model dev, let's move to one button prompt. From the presets, I will use people's portraits and get a prompt. Let's generate the image and see the result. As we saw in the previous video, loading a flux model occupies all the available memory. Once loaded, the graphic card will start working. The image generated is good as expected, but Flux1 Dev is known for image even better than this. Let's try generating an image with more elements. I will try changing the settings and prompt. Let me change the scheduler first. Image size to 1024 pixels. Next, I will change the prompt. I don't know what D and D style means. I will get the prompt and generate an image to find out. So, we got the image, and it has the elements we needed to see what Flux1 Dev is capable of. The image we generated has some blur, or I can say, out of focus area. Some may like it, but I don't. Because these ears are unique and attractive. The application has an auto negative prompt option. Let's check if we can remove the blur areas by the negative prompt function. The memory used is around 60% while generating images all the time. The first time it was high and took 140 seconds to generate an image. Next was around a minute and then it remains somewhat the same. I got the ears. It's not completely in focus but I think it's achievable if edited the prompt. Unlike SDXL, Flux is capable to understand sentences in the prompt to some extent. I tried getting a new prompt from the same preset and generated this image. I understood this D&D &D is some kind of human figure with big ears. I see, we can get some great images even without writing any prompt these days. Let's move to the next topic. Let's add a LoRa to this process. I am back to Civit AI, model section. I will change the filter applied in the previous video, from Schnell to Flux1 Dev. This dev version has more LoRa options compared to Schnell, and this is the one I have downloaded. If you do not find your LoRa, there is a refresh button below. Click to select, and you should be able to find the trigger word for the LoRa. I will be using this, and also, I will be increasing the weight to see the effect clearly. I am closing even the extra tabs because the LoRa will be taking up all the available memory. If we look at the graph, this is smaller than SDXL LoRa, still taking up significant space in memory. 110 seconds to prepare and 50 seconds to generate the image using LoRa. The result is a combination of vibrant color, texture, and perfect dark areas in just a few clicks. It's amazing. Now, the LoRa is loaded. The time taken to generate a second image is less by 40%. That is between 70 and 80 seconds after multiple tests. Do note that this is a 10-year-old system, now equal to a potato. I will select the LoRa and then click the minus button below to remove this LoRa. I am back to Civit AI and was looking for some LoRa effect so that I can have some final thoughts about this application. I will select the LoRa, Alice in Wonderland, and then I will use one button prompt. Or maybe I can use something from here. I can get the prompt. Let's take all the settings instead. I will remove the old one. Hope you saw the previous video and paste the new settings. We got the prompt and the negative prompt as well. I will verify the other setting once 
and it is close to what I kept before. Let's generate the image. It was a fresh start of this application, and it took 138 seconds to get the model and Laura loaded. And then 55 seconds for 20 steps of image generation, which is usual. The image generated is good with vibrant colors and the castle in the background. The LoRa clearly works. Results are similar to the comfy UI-like interface. Still, I feel like the image is kind of inappropriate. Everything is correct, but still inappropriate. Let's try again. Second time, it took 36 seconds to prepare the model and 45 seconds for 20 steps to generate this inappropriate image. This was due to the aspect ratio of image, instead of generating square image, 1 is to 1. I tried an aspect ratio of 9 is to 16 and generated an image. So, this is the result. We can look at, and you can definitely make images which can be featured at Civit AI. Lastly, I will remove the LoRa and check the difference. Select the LoRa, then the minus button to remove, and the settings will be the same. Let's generate. Without LoRa, preparation time was 10 seconds, and 20 steps took 45 seconds, which is usual. We got the image, and this is what I was expecting without LoRa. The image will be a good screensaver on mobile phone. I tried using Flux models in the Ruined Focus interface, and it works. There are many other features like this Merge Maker, which works with SDXL models. It is for those who are struggling with hard disk space, and I am one of those. The one button prompt is a very helpful feature added in this application, thanks to this person, the developer and author of one button prompt. Based on my experience, the increasing weight in prompts by adding brackets and numbers won't work in flux. There is this hyper prompt which I did not use. This will be big essay like prompt. This plus button adds one more prompt after the existing prompt. Multiple prompts are separated by hyphen. It generates multiple different images respective to their prompts. This power up tab has lots of unique features which I have not used yet. Note that this is SDXL features. Making this compatible with Flux will take a considerable amount of skilled manpower. Maybe we can ask for it, but Flux is new. Control nets and other dependencies are not refined to be implemented. It means lots of work. This is the Info tab, which shows the image details of the current generated image. Flux is good at understanding sentences compared to SDXL, so this application can give us images asked in a prompt. However, in Paint, Segment anything needs to be added for Flux. Changing models from SDXL to Flux may crash the application, especially in a 16GB computer, you may see memory errors like this. In case of changing models between SDXL and Flux, I suggest close the application and start again, then select Flux. Schnell model has very limited LoRa, some doesn't work properly as per my experience. In the case of dev model, popular LoRa like this on the top works. The dev model I was using works with the combination of scheduler and sampler. Thanks to this person for sharing his research. If you are a dev user, then you must understand, Sampler, Euler works with schedulers such as Normal, SGM Uniform, Simple, DM Uniform, and Beta. Flux is new, deserves the hype, but don't get carried away. Adding features takes time. 